One of the things I'm fascinated by with the animated process is how much things can change from when you first start to what people are going to see on screen. So with Adam's family, uh, how dramatic were the changes along the development process? They weren't incredibly dramatic. I mean, we, we had the story that we mm -hmm. wanted to tell. So that actually remained pretty consistent throughout. Um, I think one of the biggest dramatic changes was the villain. Uh, we had some crazy ideas for the villain that, <laughs> that were really fun, but they, it just kind of became the villain's movie, and so we had to pull back a little bit on that. But as far as the Adams are concerned, it's like we have such a rich history to look back on that we just wanted to make sure that we stayed true to who they were. Completely. Yeah. Uh, and there were so many great, I um, mean, a lot of, uh, of the cutting room floor material. We would have loved to have kept in the movie, but you know, there's just so much uh, great stuff there that you can do with this family. So that sort of, again, the movie dictated itself as we went through the process. So, but there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of cool outtakes. Uh, what would you, how can you describe, like, obviously you do test screenings or friends and family screenings. Mm -hmm. How much of that stuff ended up being like animated to a point? Do you know what I mean? Or when does it actually get cut out of the process? We, uh, mm -hmm. we screened really, really early on uh, all storyboards at one point. Um, and Is that weird to, does the audience, can they, can they take it in? It's tough. It's tough. It was yeah. tough. And um, what we really needed to take out of that screening was where the slow part, parts were and where we needed to speed it up a little bit and what jokes weren't hitting. We couldn't really take as a cohesive story, you know, people's, you know, we just want to make sure that they weren't confused but at that point. Uh, and then we had another screening where we actually had a bunch of layout in there, which was rough as well. So we didn't get a really good sense about where we were, um, you know, with an audience until we had a lot of animation in. And that's usually where people start to screen animated movies is when, you know, when you can make sure that the audience isn't confused and you can make sure what jokes are hitting and what aren't, what isn't. Uh, one of the things I love is the way... Um, uh she walks without moving her legs. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. um, uh, can you talk a little bit about that and how? Cause it's just fun. Yeah, I mean that was uh, when we pitched that idea to the animators. Um, they were concerned about how she was going to walk, and we actually looked back to uh, how Carolyn Jones uh, walked as the 1960s Morticia. And uh, of course, you can see her legs move in her dress, but she had a very distinctive way of almost gliding across the floor. And then uh, the little tentacles that come off the bottom of her dress, we just sort of made them wiggle around a little bit, almost like her dress is carrying her around. And it was just a nice little, uh, you know, stereotypical thing for Morticia to do. It's, it's very her. We did some tests so. where she was going up and down stairs. Yeah. So we got to see those octopus-like tentacles go down the stairs and up the stairs, and it was pretty fun. Uh, I'm always curious. One of the things I love about animated movies also is you can include Easter eggs that mm -hmm. maybe people will never see unless you pause it and really study. Are there Easter eggs in it that you oh, guys... Yeah. Tons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there Tons are a lot of Easter eggs in there for people that were fans of the original Chaz Adams as well as all the uh, the other iterations. We, we tipped our hat to quite a lot of that. So yeah. it's in there if you look for it. For sure. I will say this because a lot of people probably won't even know this, but there... Um, uh, I would just say, cousin, what was it? Thing started out as in the Charles Adams cartoons as just a shadow in the background. It wasn't a hand in the original. It was just a shadow with two eyes blinking in the background of all his cartoons. So there are a few places in the movie where we've stuck him in, but I won't tell you where. Right? Is there any scene that people? You, let's give away one. Is there any scene that someone should really like? A little, like a little hint on where to look. When. Uh, Morticia and Gomez are talking to Wednesday about school. Okay. Yeah. I'll leave it there. See if you can find it. Sure. <laughs> I know one of you did some voices for this movie. I forget what... That was Conrad. Right. So yeah. um, how did you cherry pick what you wanted to do uh, in the film? Did you have to run it by a certain other person? No. I mean, I, we, we have scratch dialogue, which right. is before the actors come in, we go ahead and you know throw voices down just to see how it's playing to the storyboards. And if a voice just kind of clicks and hits, then we just say, well, why don't you just do this? You know, I'm in SAG, I've done voices yeah. before. So <laughs> they said, well, this will be an easy one to, you know, to go. So we, they actually took my voice and pitched it way down for Lurch and, uh, and it seemed to fit fine. So uh, we just kept yeah. it in. And he looks like Lurch, so. Yeah, perfect, there you go, thank you. typecasting. <laughs> um, what was the last thing that you cut out of the film for whatever reason before a locking picture? Oh, God. Oh. 
What would that have been? I think it was just like a line. I think it was, yeah, it was, uh, we had with Margot, the, the villain of the movie, um, we had uh, two or three different endings for her um, as we were trying to figure out which one would be the best uh, play out. And so there were a couple of those endings that, that hit the cutting room floor for sure. Yeah, but uh, up until like mixing, we were putting in new lines mm -hmm. and taking out old lines and, you know, just really looking at things and making sure that we are getting the best of what we could, so. Completely. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm always curious, there was a lot of talk for a little while, I'm switching subjects for a mm -hmm. quick second, on mm -hmm. um, uh, a sequel <coughs> or spin-off with Sausage Party. Um, is that sort of, is it ever gonna happen or you think it's pretty much? I think it's, uh, it, yeah. if it happens, it's not gonna happen in the traditional way. No. I don't think we wanna make just a straight up sequel. Sure. Uh, I believe you're involved with Jetsons. I am. Right. I, I grew up watching the Jetsons. Uh, where are you at in that process? Really early stages, and there was only one season of the Jetsons, believe it or not. That's great. Mm -hmm. As a kid, you don't realize that. No. It's just like, I think there's only like tw 12 or 15 episodes what? total, and you grew up on it, and you just don't realize that you've probably watched them all six or seven times. I have no but idea. But we're in really, really <laughs> beginning early stages of that. Um, if you two could guest direct something, what would you like to guest direct? Uh, oh God, that's a tough one. I, would, I, I can't be specific, but a horror movie would be fun. <laughs> or a horror TV show, you know sure. what I mean? Something like that would be pretty neat I haven't worked in and I loved working on this you know for the the creepy aspect of it and I'm a huge horror movie fan so you know like a like a Walking Dead or something like that would be pretty cool yeah, for me it would be any 1950s based movie so like American Graffiti type movie I would love to direct something like that so cool there you go. my last thing uh, do you have a favorite ride at Disneyland <laughs> uh, yeah I, uh, I think it would probably be Shoot, there's so many and now I'm running through it. I'm just gonna say Space Mountain. Okay. That was what I was gonna say. You mm. can't say that. Mine was <laughs> Space Mountain too. So. Um, I gotta go. Congratulations okay, on the movie. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Hey, You're thank you. Welcome. Cool.